Hi everyone, it's Margaret here with 60 and Me. Thank you for being here today. Now 60 and Me is a community of women who are over 60 and still love to play with makeup, beauty products, skincare, and I love to do product reviews and tutorials. And I focus, of course, on my 73 year old skin and what is good for, I think, for older women. And um, because it's such a bright, sunny day today, I wanted to do a video on foundations. Uh, now, uh, there's a lot of bloggers out there who talk about their top 10 foundations, their top five foundations, and I look at them and they're they're just not the ones that I would choose in, in, in most cases. So I thought I'd take a moment and just share my seven foundations that I love. And um, there, there's drugstore represented and some higher end products, but they're just ones that I use all the time. They're kind of my go-to. I've recently done a, a sort of a declutter of all my, um, my foundations, and these are pretty much the seven that I have kept and I use all the time. So let's go through them. And they're not in any order. They're not ranked or anything. They're just because in my mind, they're all equally wonderful. <laughs> and the sun is going down a little bit, but I hope that doesn't um, affect the the light here. I might turn on my on my light, my um, ring light here. So it's this foundation is one of those things that you really need light to to do your best with. So um, the first one I wanted to talk about is one that you can see I've used quite a bit. <laughs> it's, it's up to here now. The RCMA Liquid Foundation. This is um, a beautiful foundation. It's it's definitely in my opinion a full coverage foundation. It's heavy, uh, but light at the same time. Um, I was introduced to this by Wayne Goss. Now, RCMA, who is another blogger who uh, whose um, uh, recommendations I trust implicitly. Um, RCMA does do a, a cream foundation, which they're very well known for. They are a pro makeup line in, in many ways. So their um, their products are you know known for their creams. But this is a liquid foundation. The one that I use is, um, I'll leave all the details below. It's P310. P310 which is, um, it's not a neutral color, which, but again, this is a color that works for me. And um, so I recommend the RCMA product un unconditionally. The other one, the next one is actually two products. And the reason I mention them both is because I love them both. They're both by Shiseido. And um, Shiseido, there's the Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting. This is um, a newer one that they put out and I love it. It's just, it's lightweight, but when you put it on one coat, it just hydrates, it's smoothing. It's just perfect, I think, for older skin. And for me, kind of the... The, the test of a good foundation is how they look a few hours later, uh, because most of us over 60 have wrinkles and lots of wrinkles uh, and age spots and how they kind of last over the, the, the longer time, not eight, nine, 10 hours, but maybe just four hours, five hours. I'm quite happy with that. I can always touch up if I need to, but this one is really lovely. It's the Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting. And um, Shiseido is a Japanese line, I believe, but they're, they're beautiful. Now the second one is the one actually that I, in their line that I discovered first, which is the, um, let me sure I get the, the, the correct uh, name. It's a Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Foundation. And this one is, um, I would say, in my opinion, it's a little bit heavier than the Radiant one. It's not as glowy, it's not as radiant, but it's, for me, Oh gosh, I mean, I hate to rank these, but this is probably the one, if I had to grab one if I, as I went out the door, I would take this one. It's a beautiful product, it really is. And Shiseido does amazing skincare products as well. But those um, that, those two together kind of represent my Shiseido um, foundation recommendation. The other one that um, I found this year, which a, a lot of people who are in the blogger community over 50, 60, um, are talking about this as being one that's perfect for older skin. It's the LYS. Now it's a bit shiny because it's got a beautiful go a rose gold um, top, but LYS stands for love yourself. And it's, um, they've come out since um, this foundation with a concealer, which a lot of people love too, but it's called, what is it called? Let me get my, my huge, um, I think it's just called Triple Fix Serum Foundation. And by the way, when you're looking for foundations for older skin, if you look for that word serum in the in the formula or in the description of the product, you'll find that that's often an indicator that it's a more a loose, uh, it's like a more, more um, what's the word, less textured and more smooth application, and it's good for your skin. It's usually got hyaluronic acid, acid or niacinamide, one of those care, um, those um, ingredients. This one's got um, ashwagandha. 
which is a really interesting Indian herb. I drink ashwagandha tea and it's actually designed for helping you sleep and just you know calming your nerves. And of course, your skin is part of your body too. So to put ashwagandha onto, um, into a foundation, very, very interesting. So LYS Serum Foundation is um, the number three foundation. Now, the next one, oh, I must mention this one because it's, it's a drugstore product that I have never stopped loving. Never. I just love this product. It's Believe Beauty. This is such an amazing product. And I think everybody that is in the sort of the, the makeup beauty business who reviews foundations always includes this at, at somewhere in their top 10 <laughs> because it's amazing. It's, um, it's definitely a heavier foundation in the sense that I would say it's a full coverage, medium to full coverage. But the color I use is, um, I think it's called Soft Beige. And it's five dollars, Dollar General only. They don't distribute this anywhere else, so you have to be in a place where there's a Dollar General because they don't ship either. But most of the women in our 60ME community in the United States can get a hold of this. So Billy Beauty Foundation, absolutely perfect, for, for, in my opinion, for older skin. If you do find that one is a little bit drying uh, because it's quite thick, it's quite a heavy foundation, just put some moisturizer in there or some facial oil um, and just you know rub that into the foundation and then, and then apply. It's really, really nice. Okay, this one's a close tie for my running out the door with one foundation. <laughs> this one is from the UK. It's by number seven, Boots, the chemist. I, mean, I was born in, in England, so I know the Boots line and always trust it. They have a really fascinating um, strategy where they have skincare lines that align to foundations. So the one that I love, and they've got many that I, I do appreciate, but this one I love is called the number seven Lift and Luminate. I think it's, got, it's called Triple Action Serum Foundation. Lift and Luminate. And Lift and Luminate is also a line of skincare products that they do. They do moisturizers and uh, serums and creams, eye creams. And this is the foundation that goes in that Lift and Luminate. Now that is um, a line that is particularly targeted for over 50s. Now they've come out, they came out with another one that they said was for over 60s. I think it's Restore and something. But um, in my opinion, I still like this one better. So this is the Lift and Luminate. And again, this is a favorite of a lot of other bloggers who are targeting women who are in that 50, 50 60 age group, 70 age group. So that's the next one. The, the next one is from the drugstore again. This is one I just discovered and I'm, I'm, it's just, I've just used it. So it's kind of been used, but it's by Essence. And Essence is a really cool line. It's very affordable. It's like the Dollar General price range. I think this was even less than $5, but it's the one that I've not seen too many people talk about. Um, they, they do one called Pretty, is it pretty, not Pretty Fresh? I think that's a flower one, but they do another one which a lot of people like, but this one is for me, Fresh and Fit Foundation. It's got like niacinamide in it and it says Vitamin Complex. I don't know what vitamins, but um, you know this is the print on the back if you want to read it. But you know, for me, I trust Essence. I really do. I love their um, eyeshadows. I really like their some of their skincare products and nail products. They do some excellent products there. You'll find Essence in most drugstores around the world. They're one of those universal um, drugstore brands. And as I've been doing some features on drugstore products around the world, I found you, Essence just keeps popping up everywhere. But it's a really good brand. And this one, Fresh and Fit is a new favorite. I did a, a present or a, a tutorial on it a while ago, but uh, just to remind you of this one, again, under $5. So that's the second kind of drugstore product out of this top seven. Um, the, uh, is that right? I think I've got seven here, but this next one is also a drugstore product and everybody will not be surprised that I'm mentioning the L'Oreal True, um, True Match Nude. Nude is the key word. This is incredible. From a foundation perspective, I just think if you're going to buy one uh, kind of um, everyday, uh, easy to apply, almost invisible on the skin, but it covers beautifully, a kind of a, for a casual you know day without too much makeup on, I would recommend this one. Now, others might say this is a perfect um, product for all day, any day, evening or day. But I personally would think this for me is it gives you less coverage, in my opinion. But um, it's a it's got a funky um, applicator which people don't like too much. But I don't mind it. It's okay. It's one of these. <laughs> I actually took some of. I had two of these. Um, this one is in light. 
Uh, but there's light, I also use light medium in the, the spring and summer. But I put it into a little glass jar because this is a bit drippy and maybe if that's not something that appeals to you, you can buy some nice um, glass bottles on Amazon and just put your foundation in there. You can get most of it out. So it's really a good thing to do. So that's it. I think those are my seven foundations. Let me just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, I got all of them. Hope that you... Um, I gained some insight from this. I mean, these are mine. I'm over 60, I'm 73. So I've used all of these products and I honestly, hand on heart, would recommend them, all of them. And uh, maybe you've got a favorite that you love too, or maybe your favorite is one of these. I would love to know. So leave your comments in the section below because I'm always looking for new products as well. There are, or in the last couple of months, there have been, there's been an abundance of new foundations. Um, Chanel has come out with a new one. Norris has come out with a new, um, I think it's called Radiant um, uh, Glower, Radiant Light. It's, you know, there's so many that are getting onto the bandwagon of this type of uh, L'Oreal, the nude um, product, which is skin-like, almost invisible on the skin, but covers your, um, well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even call them imperfections. They're just part of who you are. And I've got an age spot right there. I always put my foundation there because if it, if it, does, if it gets that smoothed down and you know calmed in, in, the, in the, 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 the darkness, I'm, I'm, I'm good with it. If that my foundation works that way, it's good. So leave your comments below as to what your favorite foundation of, well, of all time is, and we can share with other sisters. But thank you so much for being here. Thank you for supporting 60 and Me and for um, you know just being so enthusiastic about living this time of your life with passion and, and verve and, and energy. And we're here for you. So thank you so much again for being here. Have a fabulous day, whatever you are, and know that you are loved. Take good care. Bye-bye for now.